I cannot resist arctans because arctans have such a beautiful derivative. <coughs> Integral. Arctan is not one of your more commonly used functions, which you have to be right on top of this one. I'll do this one a little bit quickly, if you don't mind. So, the derivative of arctan. And you should think of 1 divided by 1 plus x squared as an unmistakable pattern. 1 plus the square of something. There's no hiding from it. It's very different from 1 minus x squared, which you can factor. It's a stubborn little combination. You can't factor it. You can't simplify it. You can't do away with it. If it's there, it's there. There's nothing you can do about it. And here we kind of have it. But what is it squared? Well, it's x to the fourth squared. You guys are with me? So I see that. That I, you know, there could be another example where I would look at this and see a different structure. For instance, if this was a 7, maybe I'm running ahead of myself. If this was a 7, then I would not see this as x to the fourth squared. But we'll get there. Okay. So. I see this, for now, as x to the fourth squared. So then I think to myself, well, if this is x to the fourth squared, do I have the derivative of x to the fourth? Well, yes, I do. And there it is. So it's arctan of x to the fourth. Let's do this in reverse. You can, in reverse reverse, you can really only understand this if you keep doing it in reverse reverse, which means take the derivative of it. You take the derivative of this, it becomes 1 over 1 plus something squared, bingo, times the derivative of something, 4x cubed. We've got x cubed, we don't have the 4, so 1 fourth plus c. And we're done. This took a minute. Hold on, I'll do one more. I would kind of see that out of the corner of my eye. And I love arctan so much that I would still first see this as x to the fourth squared. And then in my mind, I'll try arctan of x to the fourth, and I'll realize that I don't have the derivative of x to the fourth, because that's x cubed. I don't have x cubed, so I abandon that path. So I would first see it, take half a step in that direction, recognize I don't have the derivative of x to the fourth, which is what I would need to get the arctan, and so I abandon it after going half a step in that direction. And I come back and, and I come back here, and I say to myself, what else do I see? Well, I see that x to the seventh is the derivative of x to the eighth. Ah, with a factor missing, but who cares? The factor can always be fixed at the end. In fact, I can think of this as the derivative of one plus x to the eighth, because the derivative of one is zero. So then my brain switches. And now I see this as 1 over something, right? Because it's the big division. So when I, I see 1 over something times the derivative of that something. You guys are with me? So now I'm seeing natural log of 1 plus x to the 8th. <laughs> totally different. And I take the mental derivative of this. Log lands this on the bottom. It's perfect. Now I have to roll with the chain rule, so I take the derivative of x to the 8th. That produces 8 times x to the 7th. Perfect, except I don't have the 8. So I have to put in a 1 8 here, and plus c. 